Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next 2024 developer keynote. I'm Richard Sroder, the Chief Evangelist here at Google Cloud. And I'm Chloe Condon, a Chief Developer Relations Engineer for Google Cloud. At Google Cloud, we want to meet you where you are, but frankly, take you further than anybody else can. The future of development is giving you smarter tools to build smarter apps that run on smarter platforms. We think Gemini is changing the way developers deliver software, and we are here to prove it to you today. So we're going to show you how Gemini makes coding better, we're going to show you how it makes platforms better, and we're going to show you how you make ops better. Let's start with Gemini Code Assist. This is our cornerstone product for developing applications with AI assistance. Yep. And we're making Gemini Code Assist even better by integrating the power of Gemini 1.5 Pro. This upgrade brings a massive 1 million token context window, which is the largest in the industry. It is. Yeah, I mean, this, I think, revolutionizes how we all do coding. All of a sudden, you can look at your whole code base and add new features, do version upgrades, even comprehensive code reviews. Makes it all much better. Yesterday, we released Gemini Cloud Assist. Gemini Cloud Assist makes it easier to design, operate, troubleshoot, and optimize your application. What's really cool about this, right, is that Gemini Cloud Assist knows about all of our project features here, right? It knows about our run times, it knows about the health, and it knows specifically what's in it. And all this is because we're using App Hub to power this new experience, which is now generally available. In Google Cloud, you expect world-class data services, and now we're extending the AI journey to, for developers by bringing you Gemini and BigQuery. With this, developers can build amazing analytics applications and data agents with the help of rich multimodal AI. This provides a new generation of AI assistants and capabilities for building AI applications and agents with Google Cloud. Now we're gonna dive deep into how to build, run, and operate with Gemini. The first stop on our journey is how to go from a great idea to an immersive, inspirational AI app in just a few minutes using Google AI and Google Cloud. Google AI Studio was great because we proved that we could use multimodal input to get place recommendations. Since we want to build an application, we need to shift over to Google Cloud to build it out, which gives us more enterprise-grade controls and capabilities. And since we're going to write some code, we'll need an IDE to code in. So, Chloe, could you please go over to Cloud Workstations from Google Cloud? Sure. Here you can use a hosted and managed development environment that provides developers their IDE of choice. It's great that in under a minute, we've moved from validating our idea to being ready in our IDE. So let's bring one of the creators of Next.js on stage to show us how it's done. Please welcome the CEO of Vercel, Guillermo Rausch. Our goal at Vercel is to make it very easy to create and publish applications on the web. We developed the AI SDK to simplify adding AI to any web application. All you need to know is React, Svelte, or Vue. If you're creating an XJS app, you just need to bring in the AI SDK, your idea, and your model of choice, Gemini. It lays the foundation for the next wave of AI-native user experiences. Uh, so, Kazan, look, I need a production-grade generative AI agent or app. How do I make it? Let's dive in. Okay. So a generative AI agent is essentially an app stack like any other. But I'll show you the differences as we go. For this demo, we're going to build a better chat experience for Symbol Shops. Okay. Using generative AI enables Symbol Shops to provide product recommendations based on images of the customer's own home. Let's talk about the components of our system. Okay. You can think of these like services in a modern app stack. But actually, the most curious thing I have is in the database. How does that really support RAG? We've heard about it, but can you show this in action? Some of this information is also the vector embeddings, the vector representations of our product descriptions. And these vectors can represent text or image meaning in the same vector space. Let's talk about the application framework. Okay. For that, I'm going to tag in someone whose app dev work I really admire. Please help me welcome Spring Developer Advocate from Broadcom, Josh Long. Well, you know, Richard, I like to talk fast and code fast and make production containers fast. So let's, let's do this. This was actually using modern native Java to talk to a database, augment a request, and then give us back a lightning fast response. You can use Graal VM images like Cloud Run and yep. containerized images. It's amazing. I love it. 
Pan, I think you have some things you want to show us, things you're excited about when it comes to Gemini, making platforms better. We think AI can help us create and run modern apps. Look at this new canvas we are now shipping in preview. Using Gemini Cloud Assist, I can ask for the architecture I want and get back the right components with default settings, including the container image used for Cloud Run. And do you want to see something even cooler? You know I do. So we've just enabled multi-region deployment so that you can deploy this application globally. And you know, what's interesting is that with AI workloads, some of the new challenges that our customers are seeing now can uniquely be addressed through the power of GKE. For example, we've added new support for the Ray framework so that you can train and serve AI models more easily with GKE. A lot of teams out there are getting ready to ship their first LLMs to production, but might not know where to start or what's needed when they get here. Little help? Sure. As we build things like the RAG app we just saw, we now have a new operational control to consider, prompts. We always want to be improving our prompts, their text, their parameters, or which model they're built for. These prompts are written right into the code of the app. They are code. So we want to help make this better and less toilsome. That's why we're introducing these to Vertex AI, prompt management and prompt evaluation. Now you can see in real time how changes to your prompts are working, kind of like a before and after view. Welcome to Next, Charity. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. So at Nicom, we make next generation observability tools to help software engineers understand the code that they write. Our systems used to fail in fairly predictable ways. Uh, but this is no longer true. Our systems are, are dynamic and chaotic. They're, our architectures are far flung and diverse and constantly changing. So we wired up real honeycomb traffic to the Gemini model. And this right here that you can see is a stream of real user requests in Honeycomb. We have this tool called Query Assistant right here that uses generative AI to create honeycomb queries so you can ask questions about your code using natural language like which users have the highest latency uh, and get back a relevant query and result. But when you can use SLOs, identify something that you find interesting and then slice and dice and explore your data like this, you can really quickly get to the bottom of any issue even if it's completely new and unknown to you. Please help me welcome the engineering manager at Hugging Face, Philip Schmidt. Good to see you. You're doing so much to enable our developers and developers everywhere to use Gen AI. Thank you for that. Yeah, and we are excited to have Google Open Develop models available alongside powerful integrations into Google Cloud. Yeah. How about we jump in and I show you how to train and deploy models directly from Hugging Face to Google Cloud. Once you find a model you would like to train, such as Gemma, we can directly do this by clicking on Train Google nice. Cloud. Touching this option gives us call-up notebooks available in Vertex AI where we can perform instructions, fine-tuning, or further train our model. And we are pleasant to announce that we are bringing deploy on Google Cloud option to thousands of Hugging Face available models. So if you are starting in Vertex, we have a new deploy from Hugging Face options there you go. with hundreds of available Hugging Face models to select, deploy with tested configurations for Vertex AI and GKE. So look, if you take away anything from this keynote today, it's the, from coding to running platforms to operations, software simply better with Gemini. And we'll see you in the cloud.